courtroom moments made possible by Big Man Law. All right, our next matter is uh, Golden Pond Estates versus James Locus. Mr. Robert Dutka is here on behalf of Golden Pond Estates, and Mr. Justin Bush, the owner, is present. Mr. James Locus is also present. Uh, this is a just cause termination uh, for more than three lates in a 12 month period in a mobile home situation. And uh, we were here last on the March 1st. And we adjourned the matter until today. Mr. Locus indicated he had lost his job and is unable to pay. The landlord is asking to terminate the tenancy. Uh, Mr. Dutka, what's the situation here today? Really, Judge, nothing has changed. Uh, we're still seeking to uh, regain possession of the uh, uh, unit and space. And uh, so we would like to proceed. All right, Mr. Locus, what's your position? You're showing I me. Paid, I paid him the money. He sent all of it back to me yesterday, the day before court. I sent him all the back rent and the rent for this month as well. There's the fourteen hundred dollars. I only owed thirteen eighty. All right. Well, let me explain. He's not asking you to pay the back rent. He's asking you to move. In fact, when he files this kind of case, he can't accept your rent unless they work something out to uh, dismiss the case. He doesn't want you to pay the rent. He wants you to move. Well, I spoke and, to uh, legal aid, and they told me the way that this is wrote up is that he would have to refile because this is for asking for money, not for the property itself. I just got off the phone with legal aid. I've been on the phone with legal aid for 45 minutes before we even got well, out of here. Well, who did you speak to? Uh, I don't remember her name, but I just talked to her. She told me to call back when I got done with court so we can well, follow she this. doesn't have all the facts. Mr. Dutka is very good at this. And it's filed as a just cause complaint for termination of tenancy. He showed the demands for possession. There are more than three of them, and they asked you to move. Um, they didn't file it wrong. They filed it correct. Demand for possession and not payment of rent. Yeah, there's three of those. Those are the three previous ones. There's actually four of them that they filed, and you failed to pay your rent on four previous occasions in a timely manner. So I they asked that if we continued this so that I could pay it, and that's what I did. I, I did what well, I said we I was did, gonna do. We did continue it. Uh, and I said they can choose the money if they wish to. And you said you plan to pay it off with your taxes. I paid it. Uh, all right. So Mr. Dutka, is your client have any interest in receiving payment for this or proceeding with the termination? No, sir, Your Honor, uh, and, and in that one sense, Mr. Locus is right. The money was returned. He attempted to pay most of, uh, or all of his back rent, uh, and under the circumstances, we basically want him out, and so we want to proceed that way not uh, and not make an, another agreement with him, basically. Mr. Locus, you do have 10 days to appeal this, but I believe they've done this properly. Well, I plan uh, on appealing it. All right. Well, very good. But uh, here's the, the what I'm ordering today. You have 10 days to move out, 90 days to move or sell the mobile home. Uh, you may be liable for money damages if there's additional damage, and generally there's not much damage to the lot. 
a no money damage uh, award is issued at this time. Today is the 15th. You have until March 25th to appeal this. If I were you, I would use that money to try to find a first month's rent and another place to move to. Um, but this, we had an earlier case where we discussed mobile home terminations. This is the statutory way to do it. Um, they sent you that order. This judgment has a front side and a back side, but they're not asking for money. They're asking you to move and they don't have to accept your money. They could choose to do so if they wish to, but they did not. Is that correct, Mr. Bush? That's correct. So uh, you can continue your contact with legal aid, but it was not filed as a demand for non-payment of rent. Those are the ones they filed with you previously to establish that you weren't paying your rent in a timely manner. And they have to file those with the court to show there were at least 12 of those or three of those in a 12 month period. So I don't have to like it, but they followed the law. You have 10 days to move and 90 days to move or sell the mobile home unless you and legal aid file some sort of appeal stay. But frankly, I, I don't. Just state for the record, I'm... I have no record of communication between my office and Mr. Locus. I just oh, talked I... to him right before. He might have been talking to someone while you were here with me. Yeah. Um... It would probably be through the Council and Advocacy Law Line, which is not not a local legal aid affiliate because we would have a record even if of his application immediately it was an 888 number that i called that's right that's not our office okay all right mr locus uh if you do plan to appeal you have 10 days to do that okay all right you're good to go uh mr dudka thank you thank you your honor <laughs> Judge, I don't know if that was helpful. I, I wasn't sure about interjecting. Well, it was helpful. He may have been talking to some generic legal aid service who's telling him something without having the whole picture. Um, that's all I have for this morning, although I do have a damage hearing at 11. I don't know if you wish to stay for that. Uh, I am happy to be available if you think my presence is necessary or to you. But otherwise, no, I, 